Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Abby. So this is the first of this new series I'm going to do, that, like the discussion type videos. Anything from this style to like learning about, I don't know, taxes to discussing things with debates with other people. It's going to be like a little discussion-y segment on my channel because if you know me, I love to talk. But apart from that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it because... It's an interesting one. So, for my, for my first discussion video, we're diving in deep. We're diving in deep. Um, well, semi deep. Um, and then subscribe for way more content. If you like, if you like makeup and you like um, discussion -y videos, definitely there's going to be on this channel. If you like skincare and body care, definitely going to be on this channel with an odd bit of fashion and hair. And then comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this video. First thing I want to know is in the eye over here i want to know have you ever felt like the duff okay well just so that you guys all know the duff stands for designated ugly fat friend i know i know i know i know who are, who do you think you're calling ugly who do you think you're calling fat um but it comes from a movie called the duff and then the movie itself does say you don't have to be ugly or even fat it's basically out of the whole group of friends you're like the least desirable quotation marks because everyone obviously everyone's desirable to someone specific to them but kind of like the one that gets moved to the least um the one that gets chat up and the reason why i am doing this video is because honestly i'm the duff and i experienced it why because when you and when you first feel like you're the duff you're like oh am i ugly i'm like no i'm not ugly i'm not ugly at all however i have hella paying friends Pictures, 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 pictures. I'm not gonna lie and try to deny it. My friends are buff, like. And like, well, they look old and da da. I just look like a cute child. What works for me, I just accepted it. And like, like just because it says, like, we changed it from saying the duff was designated, cute, fun friend. Like what I am, but that doesn't sound like a cool word. Normally, being the duff doesn't really affect my confidence, my personality, or anything. However, I started to feel like being a duff has a lot to do with insecurities as well. And while I was on holiday, it sounds so bad. Like, I love my best friend to bits. The holiday was amazing. But while I was on holiday, the feeling of the duff, like the ugly part, really started to like play around a lot. I can mainly say this because basically, I'm right now, I'm really investing into my skincare. Like, I've been playing this channel for a while. I'm like, for me to kick off the channel, I need to have really good skin. And before I went on holiday, it wasn't perfect, but it was do doable. Like if you know me, I may just get acne on my one or two on my chin and then one side of my face if I'm being lazy, like how my pillows kiss me on for too long. Because mainly I get spots from dirty stuff and then um, change the different environment. But going on this holiday, I was legal enough to drink on my holiday, like it wasn't breaking the law. So going on a holiday, different like air, d drinking more, eating less, different food, different water, my skin and body were kind of reacting to it and I was just breaking out breaking out breaking out breaking out also I was using like different products for my skincare as well because I couldn't find the mini ones that I use personally so I was going all this and it was fine until I just clocked back my forehead like spots on my forehead just going back to second day school time where I did feel just fat and ugly I was like uh and then no shame on my best friend because she is fine AF like she's part of the prettiest girls I know um, so when we go into like parties and stuff, people like ask her to dance, um, like talking to her, communicating with her. I'm just there, so I'm here like, I'm going to chill by the wall. And also because she looks more approachable than me, so it makes more sense. I've come to realise as well that, again, playing with insecurities, recently, like, I would say I'm a very, um, I'm very good at like, taking things apart, like my life personally. So being confident with me has layers. So I can say that I, if I am cute. Don't try and come to me and tell me I'm not cute because it's a lie. Like, However, I do struggle a lot with being sexy and because of that, recently I've been doing a lot of snaps with filters on, unintentionally, but then you start to get into the habit of my face looking a certain way with filters on. So when I see it with that, I'm kind of like, Ugh, you're really not sexy, Ugh, you're really not um, good, like stunning, Ugh, you're really not glamorous. Ugh what is this or you can do like a five-year-old forever no one's gonna move to me a five-year-old and obviously i know how to be like abigail what you want you're buff when, you're, when, you're, when you meet your husband he's gonna fall on the floor in it he's gonna love you to bits it was something that was really 
playing on my mind like so going on with like the snapchat thing plus like the holiday my spots my skin cannot really be like up to par like i used to be my confidence was taking a little bit of a backtrack and then it took me back to so they're the same my holiday was on monday um this had to happen around the thursday they like the spots and stuff and then they took me to deeper like the monday i'm like abigail because obviously it wasn't on my mind 24 7 because again i do have confidence i do believe i'm, I'm a very cute girl like don't try gas me <laughs> Cause i don't need to be gas like i know i'm cute but it's the whole being sexy and being mature and like i'm now 18 i can't be cute forever so it's this whole transition that i was struggling with and then two years back i was in the middle of the party i'm just like abigail why are you validating yourself on man Cause the thing with me as well is like I was like, oh, no one's moving to me, da 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 da. da. But I'm just like, when a guy did try and move to me, I was like, hi, bye, no, no thanks, I'm busy, I don't really want to drink. I'm kind of like, you're in this weird limbo where you want people to move to you, but then you don't at the same time because you know you have what you want in your future and you don't want a man. So I'm like, Abigail, deep it, you're cute. There's nothing wrong with being cute. There's nothing wrong with being sexy. There's nothing wrong with being good looking. You are who you are. You have a beautiful smile. You have beautiful eyes, you have beautiful hair, your nose is a bit large but it will suit your face, you have a beautiful lips, you have the perfect chubby cheeks, you are gorgeous. So, what are you doing? And it was so funny because I'm in the middle of a party, yeah, and like, mask off is like playing or whatever, I'm, I'm just here deep in it, like I'm standing still, I'm just deep in it, and it like, you're pretty, isn't it? So, why are you letting this play with your confidence like that? It's not worth it. Certain people, um, I, I personally be like, yeah, there are girls that get moved to by like loads of guys because they're just that beautiful and that stunning. But then, just because you get moved to every day, every second, every of every night, doesn't mean you won't get moved to, and doesn't mean you're not good looking. I'm like, when I think back on the holiday, there was guys that were interested in me. I just wasn't interested in them. It's like you really have to like deep yourself and understand your self value and try not to base it on other people's opinions. So when so when I was like deep in this, um, I then had like a day in the ocean where I was like really deep in it. Like Abigail, what are you like really insecure about? Cause like, me personally, like my skin is a lot to me. Like I'm very proud to be a black female. Like, I'm re I was used to be really humble by it, but now I'm bragging it off. Like I like to Ella. If I can tan, I want to come back to the shade of my bed sheets. Like I want to be black. Like I feel like being black is so beautiful and gorgeous. I feel like loads. Of, I'm not like. Okay, I feel like loads of skin. Um, skin shades skin colors races are beautiful but i'm a black girl and i love being black no matter how much struggles i face my skin is as dark as <clears throat> not as dark as night i want my skin to be as dark as night and as rich with color and melanin and beautifulness so i love it but however body acne and like spots and stuff like that has always been a thing that i was really insecure about so like when i saw all these spots on my face again and like um I was like, oh, what, what do I do? I don't know how to deal with this. Back when I used to have these spots, I used to see them all the time. It was back in the whole, um, year, year 10, year 11 phase where getting, if you didn't get moved to, you were basically clapped. I have had to like transition out of it. So the reason why in this video I'm coming to you bare face, because I'm not going to like, I want to wear makeup. I'm like, you know what? There's certain things that people can be insecure about. Like, I'm really insecure. Like, right now, spots on my forehead, I don't, I don't like it. It's going down a lot now, but... I, deep down, I have to make it cover it up. Also, these I have like the strap top. But yeah, so I used to get really, really bad body acne, um, and also I like pick my, I used to pick my spots. So I have, I have on my shoulders, I have really dark um, marks on both sides, and I have like two big spots, one there and one there. Well, they're not actually spots; they're um, damaged tissue. For me, going on this holiday, wearing bikinis, have my shoulders out, it was really like. <sighs> I really don't want to do it because that's something I don't want to see. I want my skin to be flawless because that's what I'm working towards. Um, also, like, I'm a really hairy girl because my dad is really hairy. So, like, I have really hairy arms. I'm just like, I'm in a bikini in a country. I should, like, be smooth all over, yada, yada, yada. And I'm just like, it's not that deep. So, I'm going to be like to me, yo, my name is Abigail. And I'm a confident person, but I have insecurities. I'm very insecure. Um, about my spots, but just because I'm insecure, insecure about my spots, don't mean I can't care about my. I can't care about my day. Like I can still go to work with no makeup on and still feel fine as f. 
I can still walk out of this door with a strapless top, but actually, probably not because when I move my arms, just go up. I'm just like, this don't look nice. But <clears throat> I have another top that has the straps like that. I can go out of those tops and still feel flies F. Even though someone else might be like to me, oh my god, what's on her shoulder? I'm like, I know I'm fine. Have you seen my face? Like, I am a bigger girl. Like, loads of my friends aren't bigger girls. I kind of like, what? There's more of me to cuddle. I am going to be healthy, but at the same time, I love the way I look. Like, I love being a thick black girl with banging hair, like, and throwing wigs and all these stuff. I just feel like, I love all of that. And at the same time, I still love just being at home in bummy as F clothes, and I can still feel cute. I'm going on loads of tangents. I don't know how these are going to work. I want them to be short videos, and hear me speaking for, like, ten minutes. Like, there's a period of my life, I used to love um, a fringe to there. But also I used to wear it because I used to hate spots on my forehead. I thought like it's made my forehead look way bigger. And then I used to always have my have my hair covering my face, basically. Um, I would never have my shoulders out. Um, my arms would always be covered. And now I'm at like, the time for my life, I'm like, no. Like, I don't care what people are saying about the way I look. I dress how I want to dress because it is a further extension of my personality and my confidence. If I want to be out here in a bikini with strings at the side to hold it together, I'm going to be doing that, whether I am plus size or whether I'm not. If I don't want to be wearing high-waisted um, bikini bottoms or normal ones, I will wear them, big stomach or not. Does that make sense? But, like, stuff I've done to take steps forward is, that like, literally, when I make snaps, I, like, when I, when I go to make a one with footer, no. Do a normal one. I also, like, force myself to wear tops with my shoulders out. I then I also did this thing where I stare myself in the mirror. I know. But I how can you resist it? And I'd be like, you know what, Abby girl? Yo, you have spots on your forehead but they're dying down and they're not even that big. Yo, your smile's bigger than your spots, so it's a smile more. You have to understand that your insecurities is not that deep and not that many other people see them that way, that makes sense. You need to learn to like love your insecurities because they don't define you. I feel like First time I'd be like, oh my gosh, I have a really big nose and I hate it. I'm like, I love your nose a bit. It would be perfect if I had that nose to wear like nose piercings. Really like my nose how I realized how big my nose was. And I'm just like, rah. I'm like, you know what? You have a big nose and what? It suits my face. Are you seeing this? Like, my face is cute. I feel like, even though it sounds really very narcissistic, it's the truth. If like if you know you're cute and you're confident, you don't need to be proving it to anyone and it shows off within you like i can walk down the road and like a guy would be like oh, okay a like, certain man don't move to me because i know they can't hack me not because i'm ugly but i know that she's probably gonna turn me down isn't she boys have told me this boys that i met and then i, I, I asked some questions they're like oh i didn't want to talk to you because i thought you would um, turn me down i'm like your confidence shows. If a guy knows you can't hack you, he won't hack you. I do also want to say that it is normal and okay because it'd be like, oh, I feel really ugly today. I'm like, oh, these spots are like getting on my nerves. Or, oh my gosh, I look really fat today. Or my cheese don't fit in. I can't fit through this. I can't fit in that. It's okay to wear that because it's normal. But yeah, people have to act like you're either confident or you're insecure. That's just not the case. You can be both. You can generally be the confident person you know. Hi. And then but still have days you feel like, yo, I feel like trash. It's like, I feel like, straight up poo and it's okay as long as you don't stay in that mindset you understand that yo you know what if today i'm really can't deal like if you are the first intern and your sports just make your whole face is red and in fact i don't go out looking red flap on some concealer male or female your insecurities are only as big as you make them out to be because again i stand by the fact that something you find really insecure someone else really like i used to really 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 hate my body shape um until i was like i was wearing some clothes and my friends asked me abby girl your boobs look so amazing in this top like you fill out really nicely the things you have to do to be comfortable with being the duff or, or just being anyone you have to work on insecurities i feel like with me the more i had to exercise whether it was doing yoga or just like selling cake in the tube from this stop i walked to the next one or i walk to this um the area across like the town, I don't know what you call it in London. Whether it's I order a salad instead of chips or I order water instead of a fizzy drink, work on your insecurities. Um, and if it is, it can simply be like, if it, say, let's say it's not something like your um, spots, it's something like your nose, you just have to accept it. Like, I, that's why I think I'm so into accepting piercings. Like, I was talking to another girl 
And I'm like, I have a big nose. I have a septum piercing. You can now look at my nose on purpose and see how lit it is. And it's like, that's what I actually to have. Like, sometimes you just have to accept it if you can't change it and find ways to love it. And it's really hard, but this is literally about staring in the mirror and be like, you have a big nose. However, if you didn't have a said nose, your face would be a different shape. You wouldn't be you. Deep down, uh, like someone out there in the world will kill to have your nose. Like, oh look, your nose look really cute. Hey, your might, nose might even look better if you got a little bit, maybe a bit of nose surgery or whatever. But right now, it's not necessary. Right now, this nose is you and it's beautiful, because you're beautiful. Straight up. Another thing that will also help a lot with like the whole like, being a dove and not getting moved to is work, figuring out your strengths and working on it. Like I realised that even if it's not as like, simple as, oh, I can twerk really well, it's going to be something like, Litty, I can do her hair really good. I don't do anything to do, or like, I can make food really good. I don't have nothing to do with my appearance, but being confident with yourself and like, I'm really good at this area will fuel your whole entire being till you're like, yo, I'm confident with this. Like, I'm confident with, and no one can touch my baking skills. And that attitude and that confidence can, can translate to different areas of your life. Maybe telling your friends, like I don't, I don't do this one. I think it might be smart if I did, but maybe telling your friends that yo, well, I told them I told them that I was a duff. I mean, telling your friends that yo, I feel like I'm the duff, and when you guys do certain things, it makes me feel worse about myself. And not in a bad way. I'm just gonna let you guys know, so like if you wonder why I'm like shy sometimes, this is why. But thank you, the dark thing like girls. Do you think my nose is big? Like honestly and truly, you think it's big? And if they say yes, I'm like cool. And you know what? I have a big nose. Yo, my name's Samantha, I have a big nose. I'm what? Beauty isn't only in your appearance. I find it's a very young mentality to have to think that, or you're only beautiful if you have a pretty face. I feel like what I learned with my transition of being sexy is like this holiday and like put up to my birthday. Cause I really wanted, I was like, no, I'm 18, I wanna be an adult. Like women are sexy, they're not cute. And I was like, you know what, yeah? Your outside appearance has a lot to do with your internal being and your mindset. Um, on my Instagram, um, happy like me, following me on all social media. Um, I have one quote that I genuinely really love, and let's see if I can find it. Yeah, being sexy is all about attitude, not body type, it's a state of mind. And when I, when I actually did that, I'm like, you can be, if mentally you know who you are, you know how confident you are, it will translate in all areas of your life, you will become that sexy, confident woman. The amount of times I've been mistaken for certain A's because of my actual confidence. Even though I have the babiest face in the world. Or like the amount of times where people ask me like, oh Abigail, can you be the lead of this product and um, project? I'm like, I don't really feel comfortable with that. Or why I thought it was 20. What I thought you love it, all confidence she has. Da, 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 da. People come to me and be like, Abigail, why are you so confident? I'm just like, because I know myself. I, I love myself. I have come a long way to identify my insecurities and working on them. That's it for the first discussion video. I know it's going to be a bit of a long one, but um, if you know me, you know that I love being the duff. And if there are any other duffs or duffettes out there, comment down below. Um, we can be a duff together. Or des if you don't want to be a designated ugly fat friend, tell me your version. I am designated cute fun friend. Um, when you get to know me, I'm lots more chill. When you first meet me, I'm a bit like, Okay, I'm going to sit on this chair. Once you get to know me, I'll do stuff like jump into a pool. Cool, push you in, calm. Um, but yeah, I'm des designated cute fun friend. Um, let me know your version down below. And with saying that, I hope you guys enjoyed this bit of a long video. So sorry it's so long. And I hope you guys have had an amazing day and you will have an amazing week. But I'll see you next Monday with another video. I can't wait to see you back here on the Abbey channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!